check out this Ford here at Unique, especially in Classics. This one's a beauty, 1950 Ford Club Coupe. Flathead V8 power underneath the hood, paired up with a three-speed manual transmission with overdrive. And take a look at the chrome and bright work on this car out front. You can see that definitely shows well. So does the paint. I'd say this is very similar to like a Matador Red, which would have been an original color back in 1950. Of course, that iconic V8 marking up front. Take your time looking through the still pictures of this one. UniqueClassicCars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description if you're watching it on YouTube. That's going to take you right to our website. Of course, you can call us 507 386 1726. Ford wheel covers, beauty rings. And radial tires, so wide white wall radial tires. This one's going to go down the road nicely, folks. Jason's going to take it for a drive at the end of this video, show you how it drives out. Let's take a look down this passenger side. You can see it's not full of any major nicks, dings, or scratches. This one will turn some heads, no doubt about that. Your roll-ins, local shows, cruise-ins. There's some kind of cool aftermarket accessories or dealer installed accessories. Um, kind of the fingernail guard, I guess, if you will, by the door handles. It's also one back by the gas door filler. We'll get around to the driver's side, take a little closer look at the interior. I left the glove box open. I want to make sure I pointed out there is an Alpine stereo installed in there that is working. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Definitely look at the trunk pictures. They're in with the still pictures. Trunk is just as nice on the inside as the rest of this car. Take a look at the chrome on the rear. Dual exhaust. Flatty's got a nice rumble on this car also. We'll start it up. Let you hear it run. Take a peek underneath the hood. But first, remember those still pictures. UniqueClassicCars.com. They're worth looking through, trust me. There's what I was talking about. But kind of the gas door guard around the edge so some cool bright work on this car and it is in nice shape let's take a look down this driver's side again straight panels not full of nicks dings or scratches if you like this vintage ford definitely subscribe to our youtube channel you never know what you may see come through here at unique classic cars two spots on each side for that old school hot rod look Tex did note that the heater works, wipers work. It has true dual exhaust, and you're gonna hear that in just a little bit, but first, let's take a little closer look at this interior. This is in as nice a shape as the exterior. Look at those door panels. You'll be able to see the carpeting underneath the floor mat. This is one of those cars that the floor mats, nice carpeting in it, seat belts intact, bench seat up front, not full of rips, tears, holes. Seat belts front and rear. Headliner looking good, two visors. Very stock looking dash. They did a nice job installing that stereo in the glove box so it keeps that stock looking dash too. Electric fan has been put in place. There's a switch for it. This is also a 12 volt system. It has been converted, positive ground. All right, it's fired up. Mentioned overdrive earlier, of course. Handle right here. Turn the key, push button start, and that's how it started every time I touch that starter. Uh, gauges, I want to come back here to the gauges. Gauges are working except for the clock, I didn't notice. Oil pressure coming up, temp, that was a cold start, so I wouldn't expect that to be up much. Fuel gauge, battery, is that Alpine stereo? Nice throttle response too. And you can hear it. Nice little rumble coming out of that flatty little old school hot rod sound. I'm going to click that electric fan off just for a second so you can hear the engine a little better. It's nice and smooth. Hood release is in the car. I'm going to pause this a second. It's going to take me 
two hands to get that second release. So give me a second. We'll be right back to check out the engine bay. All right, here's the hood cropped. And let's check it out. Battery disconnect for when it's in storage in between drives. Again, positive ground, 12 volt system. There's that flathead. How much smoother do you want that to run? Wow. That is smooth. That engine's not even moving. Nice, clean, tidy engine bay. Keep your hoses hooked up. What you would expect underneath there, here's that pusher fan I was talking about as far as the electric fan. A little safety net, I guess, too, on the hood release. If for some reason the one inside the car wouldn't release it, you could actually reach up through the grill and pull that one if you had to. Smart thinking. Nice car, ready to roll. I'm going to click that fan on. It's ready for car shows and your roll ins, folks. This one will turn some heads. 1950 Ford Club Coupe. UniqueClassicCars.com. Check out all the still picks. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist your transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Phone number 507 386 1726, and stick around just a bit longer. Jason's going to show you how it goes down the road. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we're driving a 1950 Ford Club Coupe. Very well done car. Very refined and smooth running car. This is a three on the tree manual transmission. However, it's probably the easiest and smoothest one to shift that I've driven. Let's see how she does on the highway. Now in the glove box is a Alpine CD player. And that works as it should. Lovely rumble coming out of the back of this car. Fuel gauge is showing a full tank. The temperature gauge is a quarter of the way up. We do have a cooling fan toggle switch. It doesn't appear I'm even going to need that. Down below the dash. Oil pressure is about 25 to 30 according to the gauge. And the battery is charging above half on the gauge. The windshield wipers work in this car. The blower motor also works on this car. Nice looking condition. Almost everywhere you look, the dash, the headline, the seats, the paint, carpet, all very nice. And runs just as good. Pull the choke out, fire it up, let the choke down, and it purrs like a kit. We've got spotlights, or at least the look of spotlights on each side of the windshield. A nice throwback. I'll try leaving it in second for the roundabout here. There is a pull handle for overdrive down below the dash as well. Car corners nicely. Easy to steer. And we have roll-up windows on this car, but they are also the smoothest roll-up windows I think I've ever used. It takes almost no effort. Sometimes it's the simple thing. Very nice 1950 Ford Club Coupe. Take a look at all the pictures and learn all you want to know about this car at UniqueClassicCars.com.